Hey guys, it's time for Weekly Weird News. One of the best and worst things about living here in one of the biggest representative democracies on Earth is that we are introduced to a nearly constant stream of candidates, all vying for elected offices, big and small. And a lot of them are weirdos, liars, and assholes. Like the Bigfoot guy. Yeah, some are, you know, a little bit more interested in Bigfoot's dick than the average person. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Uh, some are even alleged serial killers. Ted Cruz. A lot of them are just liars, though, and yeah, there's nothing really that noteworthy about politicians telling lies, but sometimes the lies are so easily refutable and so petty and pointless, and when they're called out on those lies, they tell more pointless and easily refutable lies to cover up their original lies. And that is the case with Melissa Howard, a candidate for the Florida House of Representatives 73rd District, located just east of Ricky's hometown of Sarasota. Yeah, this was all over my local news. Also, people have been recommending us to do a uh, Digging Your Own Grave Awards at the end of the year. <laughs> There's a lot this year. This is a recurring theme on this show, is just people lying and then lying more and yeah. just not knowing when to shut up and just digging deeper and deeper and deeper until they can't get out of the hole they've put themselves in. It's like a damn in. Minecraft server on the internet. It is. Now, the upcoming Republican primary for that seat in that district is a small local race, and one that normally wouldn't have gotten any attention whatsoever. And considering how shallow and stupid the average voter is, Melissa Howard probably had a pretty decent shot. She looks like a Fox News anchor, and her opponent is this guy, Tommy Gregory. Yuck. And you, like everyone always says, you never trust a person with two first names. Mm -hmm. Well, Melissa Howard has two first names as well. Can't trust either of them. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Damn. Anyways, uh, listen, not really saying that people vote with their dicks, but we're also not saying that either. Uh, anyways, uh, over on Melissa Howard's now deleted website, her pitch for the job was the type of shit that Republicans just eat up. Working class roots, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, entrepreneurship, and support for stuff like the Second Amendment, banning sanctuary cities, cutting wasteful spending, and supporting school choice. Plus, she's way hotter than her opponent. I yeah. mean, there's gotta be something there. I think this is a lock. Yeah. At least if she's doing terrible things, she looks good doing it, right? Yeah, yeah. You can get away with a lot more. Although, the pictures she used of herself on her website are, I would guess, at least five years old. Oh, she pulled them off her MySpace account? Uh, yeah, it's that kind of thing. It's like, it's like you know, you show up for the date and you're like, who are you? I'm like, well, the pictures were a little bit old. A little bit? A little bit. Anyway, in her bio, Melissa Howard, she writes about being the first person in her working class family to ever attend college and graduate with a degree. She paid her own way through it by waiting on tables and taking summer jobs. It's the American dream, people. You work hard and you make sacrifices so you can pay for things that most developed countries simply provide to their citizens. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, though. Melissa Howard may have attended college, but she sure as shit did not graduate. And we know that now. Uh, yeah. Now, it's not clear what tipped off the website FLA News Online to look into Melissa Howard's academic credentials, but they did by simply going to a website that verifies university degrees for stuff like job applications. According to that website, she attended Miami University of Ohio from 1990 to 1994, but did not earn a degree. Wait, my, Miami University of Ohio? Yeah, so here's the thing. There is uh, I want to get away from Florida, but I don't want to go well, she, with something that's too She started in Ohio. She ended up in Florida. Yeah. There, are, oh, okay. there were two Miami uh, Native American tribes that mm -hmm. were completely separate. One in Ohio and one in the Florida area. So it, it's confusing, but the, the, the Miami in Ohio is authentic. The Miami... In Florida, also authentic. Okay, cool. Two Miamis. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, she went there from 1990 to 94, but she did not earn a degree, at least according to this website. But just to make sure, FLA News Online, they requested double confirmation from the university, and uh, yeah, she still never graduated. Mm -hmm. FLA News then reached out to Melissa Howard for her side of the story, and she called the whole thing bullshit and provided a picture of herself at her graduation dressed in a cap and gown. Okay, but... Can you show us an actual diploma, Melissa? Well, Howard said she'd sent a digital copy right on over, but she never did. And uh, then claimed that the hard copy was in her mom's storage locker back in Ohio. Her campaign then said that, yeah, okay, she hadn't actually graduated in 1994 because she was one credit short, but she did complete those credits and got her degree officially in 1996. When you start adding layers to the story, 
it becomes believable. Yeah, sure. Oh, I mean, like, everyone goes through these things, Melissa. Sure, I we understand. So my, you had to do some credits after. My brother graduated in like 2009, but he didn't actually get his degree until like three years later because he had like one credit and he works in an industry where the degree really doesn't fucking matter that much, but he did it. Anyways, they uh, then issued a statement calling the whole thing a smear attack from her primary opponent and said they'd requested official transcripts, but uh, uh-oh, they're gonna take four to six weeks to arrive. Probably not gonna show up until after the primary. So let's just, you know, forget about it. Because no it's, it's 2018 deal. and shipping is a very convoluted mess that is just takes forever. Yeah. It's not like you can get something shipped overnight or, you know, it's still It's goes- not like a website exists specifically to verify academic records. Yeah. So yeah, you just have to wait those six weeks. Meanwhile, vote for Melissa Howard, guys. Yeah, we'll get this all cleared up after uh, I win the primary. Well, despite that explanation, the media interest in whether Melissa Howard was a big fucking liar or not, it just continued to grow. So on Friday, she took a plane back to her hometown in Ohio to finally put this issue to rest once and for all so we can talk about the real issues. Mm -hmm. But while there, she and her mother dug through their storage unit and checkmate haters They posted photos to Facebook showing both Melissa's framed college diploma and some of her old transcripts. She wrote in her caption for the pictures, The truth shall set you free. It only took a night of flying back to my old stomping grounds to catch my opponent in yet another lie. Admittedly, I wasn't the best student, as my GPA would reflect, but I did graduate and earn a degree as this transcript provided to me by Miami University of Ohio proves. Cool. I bet people were very, very happy with this news. Clap back, Melissa, yeah. There you go, you got it. You I, go, girl. I love that, like, sprinkling in the uh, the fact that her GPA wasn't great. Look. It's more of those added layers. I'm like, not some egghead. Could, how could she lie when the, it, she goes so deep into the yeah. details of this? Yeah. So that settles that, right? Over with. In mm-hmm. the past, let's move on to the primaries. Now, even FLA News Online, the original site that broke the story, took down their original article and issued an apology and a retraction. Good for them. Melissa Howard had won the war on fake news. Well, okay, hold on. Not so fast, because the uh, Sarasota Herald Tribune... Your hometown newspaper. ...soon received an email from Miami University of Ohio's general counsel that said in no uncertain terms that the diploma Howard had posted was bullshit for a variety of reasons. First off, her diploma lists her degree as Bachelor of Science in Marketing, which, turns out, isn't a degree that the university has ever offered. An actual marketing major would have received a Bachelor of Science in Business. But Melissa Howard also wasn't a marketing major. She was a retail major, and her degree would have been a Bachelor of Science in Family and Consumer Services. Also, the university dean who signed the diploma was the dean of a completely different program and would have never signed Howard's degree. Oh, so it's a, it's bullshit. It's a fake. She lied. Mm -hmm. Now, when the Herald Tribune again reached out to Melissa Howard about this, what do you have to say now? Uh, Her campaign replied that uh, she couldn't actually respond right now because her husband actually just had a heart attack. He's in the hospital. They said, Melissa is focused on her family, not fake news this morning. Now, at this point, even that sounds like total horseshit and yet another lie to cover up all the other lies. But uh, to the best of most people's knowledge. No, it turns out her husband really did have a fucking heart attack and go to the hospital. Well, he's under a lot of stress. His wife's a fucking liar and getting caught. Yeah, isn't it fucked up though how after everything that just happened, this just sounded like yet another lie? He forgot to take his bare aspirin. (laughs) Also, is it possible that her husband's heart attack might have something to do with the stress of suddenly having every major news outlet in the country investigating his wife for being a massive liar? Who can say? The timing is just a bit odd. You never know when they'll strike, but I guarantee that stress added to that. (laughs) Anyways, when Monday rolled around and the story had somehow failed to completely die off over the weekend... What? But it's the weekend! (laughs) Who could remember what happened on Friday? Uh, She issued, uh, Melissa Howard, she issued a statement saying, quote, It was not my intent to deceive or mislead anyone. I made a mistake in saying that I completed my degree. What I did was wrong and set a bad example for someone seeking public service. I am staying in the race and intend to win and lead by example from now on. Okay, wait, so you did lie, but you're not dropping out. She said she she admitted her lie, so the lie is canceled. But she's lying about saying that she didn't mean like mean to mislead anyone because that was the entire point. How do you accidentally like get a fake like diploma from Kinko's and frame it and say, here's my diploma that I got when I graduated. It's real. How do you accidentally do that? 
Yeah, I don't know, but that would seem like it would be purposely misleading people. Yeah, yeah it seems uh, seems like a very intentional uh, attempt to mislead uh, voters. Yeah. Yeah. Misrepresenting yourself. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, she lied, but not dropping out, right? So meanwhile, Sarasota GOP Chairman Joe Gruters was asked if Melissa Howard should just drop out at this point, and he told the Herald Tribune that sure, He'd ask her to drop out if she ends up getting arrested for this. Okay, okay, yeah. I uh, said, uh, but in the meantime, it's a slippery slope when you start asking candidates who lie to remove themselves from the ballot. Uh, <laughs> we start removing a... the liars. What next? What, who's <laughs> going to be left to run? <laughs> Heck, can you stand there and say that you never told a lie? I mean, no one can. Hey, we all tell lies. Some of us, you know, we say, oh, I was stuck in traffic when we were just really late. Some of us, you know, claim to have graduated from a university and we print out a fake degree and we make a whole dog and pony show out of it when we didn't in fact do so. And Meanwhile, we're deliberately calling out everyone people. who called you out correctly by calling them liars. Yeah. No, you're the liar. But hey, we all lie. Uh, oh, by the way, it also came out that Melissa Howard had lied about having an A rating from the NRA who they revealed that she had actually only gotten a B for so whatever that fucking means. Oh, so the NRA rates uh, yeah. people and they- I got my GPA at the NRA. Yeah. And it, and it still wasn't that good because I'm no egghead. My GPA might not have been that great in college, but my NRA GPA, straight A's, baby. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an NRA valedictorian, pew pew. Yeah. Anyway, on Tuesday, Melissa Howard finally realized that if she kept this bullshit up for the rest of the campaign, her husband was probably just gonna keep having heart attacks. Mm -hmm. So she finally dropped out of the race or rather, suspended her campaign. We're taking a break. We might come back. We yeah. don't you know, see if this dies down. Oh, and she's also being investigated by law enforcement now because Florida law states that faking your academic credentials for personal gain is a first degree misdemeanor. Misdemeanor? Misdemeanor. Whoops. <laughs> misdemeanor. Now this whole dumb thing gets even dumber when you realize that it really would not have fucking mattered at all if she had a college degree or not. I mean, yeah. no one would have given a shit. She's not run for president. She's already a successful businesswoman, and some voters might even like her more for being a college dropout who became an entrepreneur, because fuck the education system. Yeah, I got a good head on my shoulders. I'm going to go start a business. Yeah, I didn't need college. They were trying to indoctrinate me, mm -hmm. turn me into a communist. If I would have stayed there any longer, I would have been an Antifa. Yeah. So yeah, it was a very just like utterly pointless lie to tell in the first place, but the lengths to which she went to reinforce the lie were even more ridiculous and in the end, completely futile. Yeah. Any, anyways, what's probably the funniest take on all of this is that this might have just originated as a lie that she told her parents back in 1994. This is where it gets just even better. Either she kept them completely in the dark about not graduating, or she told them she just needed a few more credits and she'd take care of that right away. She did the whole graduation ceremony, made her parents proud, and then either forgot to complete her credits or just decided not to fucking do it. Uh, even if her parents were fully aware of it, it's still so incredibly stupid that she didn't just finish the credits to get an actual degree. Uh, back in the 90s, it was probably pretty easy to lie about academic credentials to get a job, though, so she probably just figured, why waste her time making it official when everyone already believes me? In any case, Melissa Howard's political ambitions might be completely undone, but hey, we hear there's a job opening over at uh, IGN reviewing Nintendo Switch games, so uh, maybe that's something that she could go do now. She graduated from Shigeru Miyamoto uh, Memorial University in uh, Shinjuku, Japan. Yeah, try to fact check that. You can't even spell it. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I'm sure that people lie As about their- As an avid gamer. I'm sure that people lie about like college degrees and stuff like that on in their resumes all the time. Because I feel like the older you get, if you have experience anyway in the field, like yeah. it's probably the least of their worries. They just want to make sure you can do the job. But running for public office, and then like tripling down on the line. Yeah. It takes it a you, bit too far. You don't have to have a college degree to run for office. It yeah. is not a requirement at all. It's and the, it, the funniest thing is it's like there's no expiration date on this. She could she, she could, could right now. She could go take a fucking community college class right now, send the transcripts over to University of You know Miami what? Maybe or she should do and, that. Yeah. Like she could she could have gotten this done what like during the length of her campaign. Yeah, well, I think that <laughs> now is the perfect time to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, yeah. get that college degree done, and show and you can own the libs by getting your college degree. I think that if she did this, if she went and got it, I would, I would dare I say, I'm proud of you. I mean, that's one of the few things she could actually do that would, I don't know, have any possibly positive well, effect here. The best part is that uh, 
with the uh, local like GOP basically forced her to suspend her campaign because she was making the party a laughing stock nationally. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, please, just we can't right now. We can't have this. This looks bad, even for us. Yeah, the Florida you, GOP. If we get made fun of anymore, Trump's gonna have to cancel that ninety million dollar military parade that's supposed to happen two days after the primaries. By the way, and fucking weird. You know that much money would feed every homeless veteran in America for a year. But fuck them, right? Yeah, because we could just, it's going to be, I'm going to be just jaw dropped if this actually happens. This is fucking weird. I don't it think it will, weird. but like. People are going to yeah. be blocking the streets. So like, it's going to be like a Tiananmen Square situation. Yeah. No, it's, I think it's going to be like something like the wall where it just keeps getting postponed and then just never happens. Oh, fine. We can't do it now because the libs want to approve yeah. the budget of $90 million to fucking wheel a bunch of tanks and rockets around. It's so dumb. Fiscal responsibility, people. But hey, dumb bullshit is not the sole property of Floridian college dropouts. Hey, that's me. <laughs> Stupidity also affects even the brightest minds, as evidenced by the fact that last week, NASA sent up a couple weather balloons over New Jersey to measure ozone, and it was not far from Donald Trump's Bedminster Country Club, where he happened to be playing golf at that time, and they attached a handwritten note to one of the balloon's payloads that said, NASA Atmospheric Research Instrument, not a bomb. If found, please call. Blah, blah, blah. If this lands near the president, we at NASA wish him a great round of golf. Wow, not so subtle. Just scrawled on a piece of like torn out notebook paper. Yeah. So yeah, those NASA engineers, they probably assumed their weather balloons wouldn't actually land suspiciously close to where the president was playing golf, but one of them did, and it caused a whole shitstorm. Now they have to measure the shitstorm. Yeah. They're off the charts. Yeah. This, the balloon, which was carrying a nondescript styrofoam box to which the note was attached landed in a solar panel field and was found by employees there who could hear ticking sounds coming from the inside and uh, didn't find the note reassuring at all. Oh, it's a trick. Oh, it's fine, guys. Anything that says not a bomb is <laughs> someone it's from NASA. They wrote in Sharpie on it, so it's cool. Yeah. So anyways, they immediately called local police who sent over the bomb squad and notified the U.S. Secret Service, who also showed up to investigate. Uh, eventually, they were able to conclude that the balloon was, in fact, a NASA weather balloon, and uh, it, had, it had originated over at Rutgers University. Uh, the note, however, had not been attached by anyone at NASA, but rather a summer student employee, uh, who, I guess, just did it as a goof. Uh, that student, who managed to work his way into a summer job for fucking NASA, has now been removed from the project for being an idiot and causing a bomb scare seemingly directed at the President of the United States. What? Like, hey, uh, how's your summer job for NASA going? Not good. Oh, well, I got fired for uh, writing a note on one of the weather balloons that many took to mean that it was actually a bomb meant to kill the President. Mm -hmm. So... I'm sure he was more yeah. upset about the proximity of a solar panel field. Wait! <laughs> These things, they play, it's like a magnifying glass on my golf course. It sucks up all the bees. <laughs> With not enough sun at the golf course, sucking up all the sun over here. Uh, anyway, let's move on to some headlines now. Starting with, Bill Cosby says being declared a sexually violent predator will damage his reputation. <laughs> yeah. Look, I may have been found guilty of being a multiple rapist, but can we not, like... Look, I'm 81. Like, do we have to? Does this have to go on my permanent record? Yeah. People are going to think I'm a rapist if you label me as a rapist. You can't really watch the Cosby show anymore without feeling a little bit weird. No, you can't. You can't watch a lot of things. He uh, he did a lot of... He was prolific. He was prolific. And, and that the, being an actor, comedian, and also yeah. apparently uh, assaulting women. Yeah, it uh, turns out all through the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, he was kind of just running around rubbing his poop all over all his sorts, all sorts was, of otherwise great work. He's been ruining his reputation for decades. Yeah, wow. Yeah, poor, he, yeah. poor, poor Bill Cosby. The the declaration isn't what's damaging to the reputation. It's you who did the damage. Yeah. The declaration <laughs> it just lets everyone else know, but you've been damaging your reputation yeah. for decades. It was probably it's probably not the the court calling you a rapist. It's the fact that you are a rapist. Yeah. That's probably why your reputation has. Like suffered. if you kill someone and like they're like you're a murderer. It's like <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, <laughs> you know that's a pretty serious accusation. Well, it's true. Yeah, we found you guilty of it. Mm. Uh. <laughs> The Sec same with like Brock Turner. He tried to pull the same shit. Yeah. Like guys, look, I'm just try out here trying to swim. Yeah. Why you gotta Why you gotta call me a rapist? Because well, you raped a girl. Uh huh. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> Sex toys cause closure of German airport terminal. Was there a note written on them that said "not a bomb"? <laughs> no, it's uh, some guy. They didn't say why, but he was transporting just an entire suitcase full of like dildos and shit, and went through the, the X-ray scanner. 
And they were like, huh, what's that? They, they didn't know what they were looking at. They're it's like, Germany, they know what it is. They were like, sir, what's in the back? And he's like, nothing. <laughs> they were like, can we look at it? Hmm, I'd rather you not. Can we go to a <laughs> private location, maybe? Not in front of everyone else? So, here? I mean, yeah, he kind of set off uh, some alarm bells. Was he with flying that. in or out of Germany? I think it was, he was, this was at Berlin Airport. I think he was flying out. Oh, okay. So, uh, so he, yeah. went, he went on a dildo shopping spree over in Berlin. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. He probably was at that one club that you can't get into. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That one's real hard. Yeah, can't get in there. Yeah, so yeah, they I were like... I can get into that club, but I can't get into the airport. What kind of world is this? Well, yeah, you couldn't get into the airport during this because they had to shut down the whole goddamn terminal and like close it off. Thinking this all guy had to... Person... They opened it up and just all the dildos flew oh, out. Oh, like a can of snakes? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? That's what you had? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just didn't want to say. Yeah. I was embarrassed. Well... India lawmaker dresses as Hitler to criticize prime minister. The pictures are <laughs> like, fun. Yeah, he's like, I dress up as Hitler because like the prime minister of India, he's kind of being like Hitler, but like, not really. He's just refusing to like send more money to the region that I represent. Mm -hmm. So anyway, to prove this point, I shall dress up like Hitler and go into parliament and do like the Nazi salute to really drive home the fact that that guy's Hitler, not yeah. me. I'm just dressed like Hitler because he's Hitler because he won't give the people I represent more funding. Yeah. This is Classic surely... Classic projection. <laughs> surely this will get me what I want. Yes, and I won't need to explain it at all while people are wondering what the hell I'm <laughs> doing. I won't have to frantically explain the entire project. <laughs> you see... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not Hitler, he is. But you're clearly dressed as Hitler. You've even got the tiny mustache. No, 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 but I, you see, yeah, you're right. I'm wearing it because he is like Hitler. Yeah. Sir, I'm very confused. Could you please explain how you dressing up as Hitler makes him Hitler? I'm representing what he represents. Don't you understand? No one gets it, shit. Yeah. What have I done? Well, um, yeah. I hope his uh, set at the open mic went better later that night, but it probably didn't. No. Oh, let me explain that last joke. You guys didn't <laughs> seem to get it. World's top empathy researcher revealed as a bully. Well, who better to know? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, she, uh, she very verbally abusive towards her, her research assistants when, like, she'd basically arrive at a conclusion yeah. and then be like, back this up with evidence. And they're like, mm, it's not really how it works. And she'd yell at her... Like, her workers, like, one of them got pregnant. She was like, how could you do this to me? <laughs> Apparently just a total bitch. Yeah, well, that's the thing, though, is you're becoming the experiment. She could really, like, Ooh. she could turn this around and be like, I was showing them what a sociopath is like. Yes. Uh, someone who just, someone who lacks empathy in any way. And that way, they had a, a test case for the research. Yeah, it's very meta. Yeah. She was playing 5D chess. Yeah. Yeah. Are we on to 5D chess now, or is it still 4D? We're on like 7D chess mm. at this point. Well, you can't that, even see it. Hey, if you're watching, that's a good way to like, you know. There's a research team researching the research team. Yeah. And at the be at the center of all of this, Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> or Nathan Fielder. <laughs> or both. One of them. Colorado College reprinting up to 9,200 diplomas to fix typo. Miss Melissa Howard needs to get on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I want one too. Yeah, they wrote like chord of directors instead of board of directors. And all these people are just like, yo, I paid a lot of money <laughs> to like go here for four years. Yeah, but like, is it written in old English? You can't tell the difference between those letters. That's true. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, like if I show someone this, they're going to think it's fake. Yeah. If I try to run for office someday, I just like would like to avoid all that. Who's showing their diplomas to everyone? I don't know. Mine's like. It's like if you're a, a doctor, you have it uh, hung up or whatever. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I don't even see it that much anymore anyway. And it's never like, it's usually not your bachelor's degree. It's like, you know, where you got your master's or something. No one gives a shit about where you got bachelor's degree. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's kind of an ego thing. Yeah. You see that? I went to college. From the core. Oh, of... this guy went to college. Hey, watch out. Whoa. Hey, we got, a, we got a bachelor of arts over here. Yeah. Egghead. <laughs> Johnny Depp accuses ex-wife Amber Heard of pooing in their bed. Why? <sighs> like. Why? Okay, why poop? In the bed, is there a reason? And why was he? Why did he accuse uh, out know. of the blue? This is a real shit show. They, hey, they've been, <laughs> they've been separated longer than they were married at this point, mm -hmm. I think. But yeah, so according to Johnny Depp, who, as we all know, very is, trustworthy, is not high all the time and is very trustworthy. Mm -hmm. He says that he showed up late to Amber Heard's birthday party and to get back at him. What an asshole! She took a his, shit. <laughs> his wife's birthday. He's late. She yeah, and so she took a shit in their bed. 
to get back at him so that when he went to bed, he'd be like, oh, geez, it's doo-doo. Now she says, That's doo -doo, baby. she says it was one of their two little dogs who, as we recall, were, those dogs tried to illegally immigrate to Australia They're bad a few dogs. years back. They're very bad dogs. So this is, this is right in line with a what A couple they of do. bad peros yeah. trying to cross the borders. Mm -hmm. uh, she says it was the dogs and that, but she says that Johnny became convinced that she had shit the bed and like for weeks, like kept accusing her of it and like, He's just those, gaslighting her? Yeah, in like, uh, like you know when... Maybe she, I did shit the bed. When he allegedly like threw a phone in her face and gave her a black eye, she said that was actually over the, the poop, poop the poop accusation. Yeah. And because uh, like in their divorce proceedings, there's a bunch of lines that are like, that refer to a certain like arg topic that they were arguing over yeah. a lot. Scatological argument. It turns out the argument was whether or not Amber Heard had shit in the bed to yeah. get back at Johnny Depp or if it had just been the dogs. You know, because of the running poopers and stuff that we've covered on this show, like it, it's, uh, what's that, uh, the effect when you when you read about something and it keeps popping up? The batter mine half complex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's something like that. But uh, yeah, it was like the other day, it was there was like a Reddit thread of, uh, People who, you know, how they do those transformations where they're like super fat and they get skinny. Yeah. And you're like, a lot of people, especially when they're on a hardcore fitness regimen, uh, shit themselves apparently. There were oh, a yeah, lot of stories yeah. in that thread about people who were like, yeah, in like week three, I started doing like really heavy like weight training and stuff like that, and I fucking shit myself. Yeah. It's, like, uh, that, it's a very strange. Yeah. No, Probably not worth it. No. Seems kind of embarrassing. Yeah, because a lot of it happens at the gym. Yeah. Yeah, yeah leaking I'd, everywhere. I bet they clean up a lot more shit than you would think. Did you see that that old Hulk Hogan tweet? There's like just a picture of poop on the floor. Like, poop on the floor of the gym, brother. <laughs> Someone's <H> working hard. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's really getting in the reps today. Yeah, apparently it happens a lot. Well, so there you gross. go. Fed up locals are setting electric scooters on fire and burying them at sea. This is LA Times. They're talking about birds. Our town. The bird scooters finally made it to my fucking neighborhood. I'm so angry. I woke up on Saturday. They are literally migrating because people slowly they bring are them east. like yeah. birds. Yeah. I woke up Saturday, I opened the blinds to a beautiful day, and just straight in front of me was a, a knocked over scooter, just the dumbest, just out there in the dirt. Because people, they ride them, they're like, all right, done. I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> so I had to go to the west side for the first time in months last week. And so I get there in the Uber, just into like Venice, and every, I'd been seeing stuff like this on Twitter, like how bad the problem was with right, these scooters. Everywhere. And I'm like, how could it be so bad? And I got there and I was like, holy shit. If I lived in this neighborhood and this had happened, I'd be mm -hmm. at every city council meeting. Uh, it's you, every 15, 20 feet, every block, there's like, there'll be like Piles 10 on a, on a corner. It's crazy. Also very convenient and a bit of fun. Cause I yeah. kept taking one to the Starbucks and back and I was like, all I have to do is walk 15 feet and unlock with the phone. Yeah. And then when you're done, you just leave it. Well, there is a very great Instagram account that I found through this article that is literally just pictures and images of people destroying these things. Like, yeah. they'll put them out. There's a bunch in trash throw cans. Throw them in the ocean, put them in trash cans. Another one fun thing they do is they'll they'll get, put them up like real high on top of like a stop sign yeah. and like perfectly balance them. Yeah. Like, a, like you're balancing rocks or something that they're like impossible to get to. Yeah. They set them on fire. It, it's it's great. It's an it's a very convenient public eyesore and nuisance. Yeah, I mean, like, just don't don't put them in people's driveways. Don't put them like yeah, in you the gotta street. go down to Venice. It's a fucking mess down pass. there. Pass, hard pass. Fuck mm. Venice. Fuck the West Side. I'm good. <laughs> yep. Firefighter sent to rescue parrot from roof told to fuck off by bird. <laughs> Uh, oh, so your wife's cheating on you. Fuck <laughs> off, cock, <laughs> cock, cock. Yeah. I'm up here on the roof because I want to be here. Did they just eventually spray it down with the hose? No. So they thought it was injured. The mm. owner thought it was injured, like it had gotten on the roof. And the whole reason it was staying up there for like three days was because it had broken wings. But finally, when the firefighters tried to approach it, it just flew away to another house yeah. and, then, and then flew back in the owner's house. That's good. So it was just being a... a being a jerk. Well, the, the, it sounds like the owner's a jerk. How else is it gonna, is it gonna learn this naughty language? That's right. Fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. And it's it's fun. It's cute, but it's just like a it's like a baby. Yeah. When they start cussing, it's like you can't really stop it. It's you can't. Stick. You can't. Yeah. No no putting the the lid back on that bottle. Mm -mm. Speaking of parrots being dicks, firefighters rescue Illinois man trapped waist deep in mud while trying to save pet parrot. That bird lured that man. 
Out in the mud. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh, I, you better catch me, you better catch me. Ha <laughs> you dressed yourself in mud, you fucking idiot. Fuck off. I, I don't know why it was a thing, uh, I don't think it exists a lot anymore, but when I was a kid, I think it would just happen more in movies and TV shows, but I was constantly terrified of quicksand. Yeah, it was a trope in a lot of like cartoons and shit. Yeah, and this reminds me of that, where it's like, maybe yeah. it's not actual quicksand, but like this parrot knew, it was, knew, it, knew that it, it was doing something bad. Yeah. It was like, I bet I could kill my owner. Yeah. Just a little bit further, a little bit further. Ha ha! Yeah, then you just How are you gonna get away. out of this one, idiot? Yeah, did it land on his head while he was sinking, Try to push him down even further? <laughs> it was, yeah. yeah. Just flapping, it was trying like to shove him down. Shoulders, like he was just like stuck in the mud, Please. like up to his neck. Fuck off! What's up with parrots this week? <laughs> real I mean, it's, it's, it's hot all over the country. They're probably very hot. But they're tropical yeah, animals. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's getting a lot hotter out a lot more frequently. They just want to go fly somewhere. Like you can't keep them all cooped up in the house. Yeah, they just want to fly. They want to fly. Let them fly. Just like Sugar Ray said all those years ago, I just want to fly. Yeah. Let them out. Let them out. They'll come back. <laughs> well, people let out their parrots here in Southern California about 20 years ago, and now they're just fucking everywhere. So maybe don't let them out. Put them down. That's three bird topics in a row <laughs> if you got the scooters. Bird, bird, bird. I was saying last night when we talked about yeah, this, I was like, here. <laughs> they need to do, someone needs to do a short film, like that's uh, Al Albert uh, Hitchcock, or Al sorry, Albert, Alfred Hitchcock, uh, and do uh, birds, but with these scooters. The birds, yeah. Yeah. But it is, it's, it's They're honestly, coming, no. It's honestly crazy to me that they're not introducing them into your habitat in the east side. They're migrating they are literally naturally. Migrating naturally. Like a virus. Because people are taking them further east. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You're gonna start finding them out in like fucking Barstow. <laughs> Bouncing on top of the giant uh, thermometer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, regional talk. A uh, woman demands refund because there were too many Spaniards on her holiday to Spain. She did, she did not appreciate all the Spanish being spoken. All the Go Spanish, back to your country. All the Spanish people there. I press one for English. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Where was she from? England. And so like I saw the headline and I was like, maybe she's talking about one of those like islands like Mallorca. Because there is like a weird situation Ibiza. down there. Yeah, well there's a bunch of Spanish islands where it's like, this is the one where all the Germans go to, this is the one where all the French go to, this is where all the English go to. No, that's not the case. She was in mainland Spain. Like Madrid or Barcelona or something? Uh, it was like in the south. Yeah. But uh, yeah, she was just like, all the entertainment was there for the Spanish. Like all the food was like Spanish food. like. What did you expect? I don't know. I think she like just wanted the comforts of home, but in Spain. They used to say travel broadens the mind. Nope. But now it's just like travel's just fuck culture. Yeah. Just give me some fucking give me a meat pie. Where's yeah, the Spanish where's the meat, meat pies? pies? Where's yeah. the local chip man? Yeah. Well, <laughs> where's not the enough, chippy? Not enough chip stops here. <laughs> where's your ten types of vinegar for me to put on my chippy? Mm-hmm. Spanish driver tests positive for every drug in test. How? There so, has to be an abnormality. No, it's, so he tested positive. That doesn't mean necessarily that he was high on all of them at the same time. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the drugs stay in your system. So within the last, I don't know, couple weeks, he had taken, you know, cannabis, alcohol, amphetamines, opiates, cocaine, all Sounds drugs. like a fucking blast. I mean. Like if you're gonna, like if you're gonna get caught for this like that, like, you might yeah. as well go all out. Yeah, I hope they let him keep the certificate so they can frame it. They should make a movie about this guy. It's, it's like Fear and Loathing in Spain. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, he... Uh, I mean, he went down in a blaze of glory, did everything. Yeah. And he's probably gonna continue to do it. Probably. Not like, it's not like he went to jail or anything. He they got just like, were like, oh, you can't drive. Yeah, he got like a, yeah, he can't, they took like six points off his license or whatever. So yeah. he probably can't drive for a while, but uh, yeah. He's probably that lady's cab driver. And he kept offering me amphetamines. All those Spaniards, they were all high They're all on every high. drug. <laughs> yeah, uppers, downers, all arounders, those damn Spanish. And we walk around and they open a big trench coat filled with baggies of all the drugs. And they're always sailing down to the Caribbean to take over islands. <laughs> Didn't like it. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for Weekly Weird News this week. Uh, do us a huge favor, two things. We got two pieces of homework for you, one, Make sure you watch the most recent episode of Idiots Watching Anime. Please. It went up earlier in the week. We had Reina Skelly on and we watched Food Wars, which is confirmed to be hentai. Absolutely. Now, be sure to watch that. And also, go to your favorite podcast app, type in Weekly Weird News, and subscribe to the podcast version of this show so that we can get those, we need to pump up those rookie numbers. Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out Idiots Watching Anime. Check out another video over here. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.